That concludes angle side angle postulate. Now to lead on to angle angle side postulate. Angle angle side postulate is two angles and a non included side of one triangle that's going to go into two angles and a non included non included side of one triangle, which is triangle congruence. For example, right here. Angle, angle, side, postulate, theorem. One triangle and the other triangle. J, K, L, D, E, F. So, um, what I mean about not a non-included side is when the side, the segment is not between the two consecutive angles. So this is angle K and angle L. But the non-included side have, is going to be on the side rather than in between. So far, so good? Yes, Mr. Rojas. Now for the, this triangle, angle E and angle F. Now this is going to be on A segment DF. Any questions so far? Yes, Mr. Rojas, I have a question. Does it matter if the segment of one triangle has to correspond to the other triangle? Yes, Ms. Sanchez, it does matter. You know why? Why? Because segment JL and segment DF has to be corresponding in order for the postulate theorem to work, meaning that they has to work in order for it to be <laughs> congruent. Do you understand now? Thank you, Ms. Sanchez. So for angle, it's gonna be angle K is congruent equal to angle L. No. Apologize again. Angle K is congruent equal to angle E. Sorry about that. Now for the next A, for the next angle is going to be angle L is corresponding equal to angle F. So far, those are the angles for these two triangles. Now to the segment or the non or the included sides, non-included sides. So it'll be S equals to segment JL congruent equal to segment DF of this triangle, DF. Again, non-included side means that the side or the segment is not between the two consecutive angles.